Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing TV. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. We're on location here at the 2012 Vancouver International Boat Show. With us today, we have Steve Ray from Lowrance. Welcome, Steve. Mike, good to see you, buddy. So we're gonna talk about uh, the new generation two, Lowrance. Yes. HDS. Uh, this is the latest generation of electronics that Navico is coming yep. out with. We've got two new upgrades over the generation one. Yep. The first being the processor speed. Okay. The beauty of this, the, this unit is much faster than the generation one. Okay. So what that means for the average fisherman is when he's changing screens, when he's zooming in and out, it responds much faster. Okay. Yeah, that, that, chain, that lapse time is, is, is gone. Kind of, okay, cool. And what, what's great about that is when you add features like structure scan or radar mm -hmm. or AIS or the Sonic Hub, all the things that this product has the ability to add, sure. it'll speed it up. The yeah. other big feature that we have is structure map. Now, what is really neat about this is there's great mapping offered out there. We use Navionics mapping, they make a great product. But it's not a perfect science. So if you have the structure scan added on to your yeah. product, yeah. you can put lay it over top of the map, okay. and things that may not be on the map that are on the bottom you'll see. So for an example, we have a, a demo here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> and- uh, Very applicable to our fish on our Absolutely, market. well it's just down the street, <laughs> yeah, right? That's right? So you can see that there are bumps on the bottom that aren't on top of the chart. Sure. What, you know, it could be man-made structure for the freshwater fishermen. Sure. You know, it could be fallen logs, fallen trees. For, for safety, fire and safety, you could look for cars or things like that on sure. the bottom. But on the west coast for the ocean, maybe there's bumps, maybe there's halibut spots, maybe yeah. there's rock piles that aren't on the chart that yeah. you'll be able to see for that. And we all know when we're fishing off the west coast for halibut, anytime we can find a bump or rock fish, anytime we can find a bump, sure. that's a great fishing spot. Sure. So it is going yeah. to be a great application with the speed of this unit now and the ability to see things on the bottom that aren't on the chart. I mean, how can you go wrong? Right on. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Thanks for sharing. Mike. Okay.